Whiskey Cast. Proudly brought to you by Redbreast, the definitive single pot still Irish whiskey. Join the still house at singlepotstill.com and receive an exclusive whiskey tasting journal. The Murphy brothers first started distilling whiskey at Middleton in 1825, buying an old woolen mill on the banks of the Dungorny River. The cost of that distillery then was £30,000. I have no idea what £30,000 represents in current day money, but it must, be, it must have been absolutely phenomenal. Imagine if you had £30,000 back in 1826, what you could do with it. In 1966, the Murphys, the Jamesons, and the Power families merged their distilleries into Irish distillers. And in 1975, they consolidated all of their distilling operations at the new Middleton Distillery. At the time, Barry Crockett's father, Max, was the head distiller, and he wondered whether they would ever be able to use all of the new distillery's capacity. 38 years later, the distillery can't keep up with demand. But that 30,000 pounds for the original Middleton Distillery won't go very far today. In fact, adjusted for inflation, it's only about 4% of the cost of Middleton's expansion, 100 million euros. We're standing here today where whiskey has been made for 200 years. We are not only investing in the future, we're also investing in, for example, an archive to celebrate the glorious history of Irish whiskey. We're investing in an academy. We are bringing thousands of people here to Ireland all the time to show them this and to show them how incredibly dynamic Irish whiskey is. Ireland's Prime Minister, or Taoiseach in Irish, Enda Kenny, was on hand for the groundbreaking 15 months ago and returned to praise one of the country's largest private economic development projects in recent years. Exports are very important in the agri-sector. They're running at over nine billion in terms of Ireland. But there were jobs created here in the construction of this wonderful facility and permanent jobs being created. And Jemison here and Irish distillers recruit graduates in the distilling process. So it's a, wonderful, it's a wonderful experience for people to come and see how the distillation process takes place, how the product is actually produced. And not too far from here, another 100 million injection going into the maturation plant at Thun Gooney down the road. So this is a sign of investment for the future. The expansion takes Middleton from four to seven pot stills now, with three more to be added in 2015, and room to build even more as needed. While Jameson will continue to make up the bulk of Middleton's production, the expansion will allow more pot still whiskey production. It means that we can continue the success story that Jameson has been, and also means that now we can start showing even more of the breadth of Irish whiskey to the world, so the other brands like Powers, Paddy and so on. So it means, it means the world to us to be able to do this. And it also means the world to the town of Middleton. The distillery is Middleton's largest employer, with nearly 200 full and part-time workers at the distillery and the Jameson Experience Visitors Center. And the Visitors Center brings tens of thousands of tourists to Middleton every year, creating even more economic impact. You know, my granddad worked here, my dad worked here, my brother worked here, um, and, and also there is a whole, uh, a whole set of suppliers who feed into Irish distiller system, um, and the you know the, the the economy that spreads out from the employees who live uh, um, and spend locally. So as I said, it's it's more of a, a, an extension of the importance because it really has been um, a, a sustainable industry within the town, uh, providing continual employment through good times and bad. While we've had our economic downturn over the last four or five years, Irish Distillers has been expanding, uh, which goes against the general international trend, let alone national trend. So again, it's, it's, it's vital to the, to the continued development of Middleton as a town. I can't spend all my time where the sun don't shine. And with the sun shining and the ceremonies over, the distillery opened up for a housewarming party, music, food, craftsmen, and of course, whiskey tastings. Along with one last chance to honor retiring master distiller Barry Crockett on his final day after 47 years at Middleton. It's a daunting task to, 
to step into Barry's shoes because obviously he's he's had a tradition to 47 years in Irish distillers. Um, it's a hard act to follow. They're big shoes to fill. But I suppose we in Middleton, we work as a team together. We have a great craft. There's a great group of people here. And that's what counts. And that's what makes Middleton a success. It's not just the one person. It's, it's the team and the craft that we showcase here. But there was one ceremony left, a private one for Middleton's staff, outside the original Middleton still house where Barry Crockett's word was law. So we thought something really tacky. <laughs> Really tacky with that. And we, now we gather you all here for a competition to guess the best caption. That uh, would be an appropriate uh, method of doing it. No, we didn't. Of course, we didn't. Uh, it is my honor today to announce that after due consideration, it has been the decision of the board of our Sillers Limited to dedicate the middle of the still house to Barry and to name it the Barry Crockett Still House. Barry isn't leaving the whiskey industry behind, though. With the opening of the Irish Distillers Archive at Middleton, he's researching the history of whiskey production in County Cork and plans to get his master's degree in industrial archaeology from University College in Cork. If you go back, uh, say, 200 years, uh, there were a number of uh, significant-sized distilleries in the county of Cork, most of which would have been located in Cork City, but also uh, in a town called Bandon, and, of course, the one here in Middleton. Uh, and, indeed, there were two distilleries here in Middleton at the time. So what I will effectively be doing is uh, looking at it from, or through the eyes of an industrial archaeologist, looking at the investment decisions, looking at the social structure of the actual distilling industry and its contribution to industrial life in, in Cork. Of course, today there's just one distillery left in County Cork, but while Barry Crockett studies the first golden age of Irish whiskey, his successors are busy on the second golden age of Irish whiskey. It's currently the fastest growing sector of the whiskey business worldwide. For more cask strength conversation on whiskeys with the people who make them and the people who drink them, join us each week for Whiskey Cast. In Middleton, Ireland, I'm Mark Gillespie.